Alright, so for the class that I'm doing right now, um, basically like doing mastery of self and it was really interesting when, you know, I thought about it because it made me think about, you know, my childhood and, you know, the things that I loved to do and what I did all the time. And like as a, you know, little kid, what I loved to do was create, you know, I would sit there for hours just writing programs. I used to like I created the little Lego robot and that was so much fun for me. Then I loved playing video games and while I would play, I create this world in my mind, I create this story. Even though like, you know, most games it was already a story. I would create my own story and I loved doing that. You know, I would write little stories, I would write poetry. You know, I would have my like toys that I would play with and come up with this whole like story for what's going on with these characters and all of that and that that's what I love doing and it made me really like think about like as far as music like it's not specifically the music itself that I love as much as while well, I do love music but it's more so I love creating I love being creative and I love hearing the creative works of others and having them share their creations with me <clears throat> And that's where my passion is at. And then, like, that's why I love, like, hip-hop so much. Because hip-hop was like, you know what, forget the status quo. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, when hip-hop first started, it was like, you know, you're broke, you're poor. We don't want none of you, you know, poor people. I mean, of course, there was also racial things that were involved with that whole situation as well. But basically, like... You can't come to our clubs and perform music. You can't come to our dance classes. And of course, we couldn't afford their fashion and etc. So we were like, you know what, forget them. We're going to create our own music, our own dance, our own art. You know, we're going we gonna to have our own thing that we do. We're going to have our own places that we perform and all of that. And that, that was the essence of hip-hop, you know. Like, hip-hop was... We create our own worlds and we deliver those worlds to you. And that's why the golden age of hip-hop was so great. Because artists created their own world. Whereas now, like when you really look at it, like the music that, you know, like everybody gets mad at hip-hop heads and calls them haters or whatever because we'll be like, oh, you know, that's not hip-hop. And people like, you know, say it changes. Yes, things change, but the essence of it doesn't change. The foundation of it doesn't change. Because if you change the thing that makes it what it is, then it no longer is that. It's something else. And it seems like people aren't able to grasp that concept. Like, if you completely 100% change everything about something then it is no longer that thing so anyway because it's like a lot of these rappers now they'll be like i'm gonna do what i think that you know people are gonna like what's popular what people want me to do and it's like if the essence is that we weren't allowed in so we had to create our own thing and now you're saying oh well we're gonna just do what they want us to do you see them saying that that defeats the whole purpose of what you were supposed to be doing in the first place but it's just like everybody's like well because i rap then i'm gonna call this hip-hop and then it's like okay but when you look at it like during the golden age of hip-hop when MCs would rap, people refused to call them MCs. People refused to call them hip hop. They called them rap and they called them rappers. So why is it that during the golden age, nobody wanted to call them MCs, nobody wanted to call them hip hop, but now during the age where people create music, that is like, oh, well, we're going to go with the status quo. Everybody wants to call them that. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's this whole agenda to basically degree what hip-hop is. 
Because basically people are like, oh, now you're doing what I want. It's like, like, think about it. When you have a child that has their own personality and their parent is like, I want you to be a doctor. But let's say they want to play the saxophone. That's what they love doing. But their parent's like, no. I want you to be a doctor. That's respectable. You're going to make good money. And have your family in the future. Blah, blah, blah. The kid doesn't like being a doctor. It makes them miserable. Right? So as long as this kid continues to go out to playing the saxophone, the parent's just not going to accept who they are. But once the kid is like, I'm going to be a doctor because my mother and father wants me to be one. Then their mother and father is like, yeah, that's my baby. I accept them. I love them so much. Look, look, let me parade all of their awards and blah, blah, blah. Yet, when they got all of these awards playing the saxophone, parents never told nobody. When they came out with their saxophone album, parents never told nobody. When they traveled around the world, their parents never told anybody. Because their parents wanted them to be a doctor. But they make achievements that aren't even half as great as what they made playing that saxophone. And their parents tell everybody. And that's, that's, that's how things work in this world, you know. Like, people, people don't, like, look at it like, oh, this is what you are passionate about. This is what you love doing. This is, this is what you've always wanted to do. So, I'm going to celebrate this. I'm going to share it with everybody. I'm going to help you become successful. They look at it like, no, this is what I want that person to be. So until that person starts doing those things and becomes who I want them to be, I'm not going to, you know, share their accomplishments with other people. I'm not going to help them become successful at it or whatever like that. I'm not going to say nothing to anybody. And that is one thing that, you know, it really holds people back. And that's also like basically the essence of what really is like happening with hip-hop and that's really what makes hip-hop heads so upset like why are you promoting something that is not what it is at the end of the day if you don't like hip-hop that's fine but don't try to promote it as what you want it to be at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let it be what it is. If you don't like it, cool. Just be like, hey, this is what it is, but I don't like it. Don't be like, oh, it's something that it completely isn't just because that's what you want it to be. And that that's where the problem lies. Dang.